Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the Lenovo Idea Center Horizon. Uh, what we get with this device is 10 finger point touch screen, uh, 27 inches large. You also get things like this. This is a wireless keyboard, it's quite nice. Same with the mouse. This is made to work on basically any surface since you'll be doing uh, work with this, or not work, playing games on lots of different surfaces. Right here we're on a uh, wooden floor. Now, what you got here is Windows 8, full Windows 8. Uh, and what we're going to be looking at today specifically is BlueStacks. BlueStacks is an interface uh, made for Windows and Mac uh, to allow you to work with Android apps. Now right out of the box you have access to apps from several different stores. We have App Search, GitJar, Amazon App Store, and One Mobile. We've sideloaded a version of Google Play uh, just so that you can see some other apps that aren't necessarily optimized for this interface. Now most of these apps that you're seeing here came with the device already installed. Uh, things like Cloudy, Backgammon, uh, Bloomberg, let's just look for socks, uh, Draw with Friends, or Draw Free, uh, Jetpack Joyride, and Amazing Alex. Now we're going to look at Amazing Alex quick. It's made by Rovio, the same people that make um, Angry Birds, and it's sort of optimized for this gigantic interface here. As you can see, it still doesn't reach quite to the edges, so it's not perfect, but it works quite nice. And you're going to see some ads in here, by the way. So what we're going to do is go back. We'll go back to the backyard here. In this app, another interesting thing here is you'll see loading screens and, and not quite perfect quickness, uh, even though we are working with you know, an uh, Intel Core i5 processor. It's odd since, uh, you know, apps that are made for Windows go quite a bit faster than apps that work with uh, BlueStacks. That said, it is fun to use Android apps. So we're just showing you stuff like this. Fun stuff. Now, this works pretty slick compared to some of the other apps that aren't optimized for this interface. If I go to War Pinball, this is made by Rovio, uh, by uh, GameProm. As you can see, it's already open. I must have had it open before, but you can go to resume. You can see it looks okay, but it's by no means perfect. Another oddity here is while if you're using this on Android, you're going to be able to switch the view to sort of portrait mode so you'll have a longer view. Uh, here, you're only going to be able to play it in this uh, log mode. This is also pretty awesome since you have a massive display with the touch screen that should be playing pinball on. So that's pretty cool. Other app here that isn't optimized is this Tekken game, which is relatively new. We'll see if it loads here. This is an example of a game that came from the Google Play Store. It's also really, really new, so it's certainly not made for uh, this device, so sometimes it just doesn't load like that. We'll take a look at Jetpack Joyride for the last thing here, just to show you another app that works relatively well. Halfbrick has made this uh, straight for uh, BlueStacks, so it should be working perfectly well on any Windows device that's working with BlueStacks, like this one is. I'll start like that. You can see quite a few pixels here, by the way, too. Uh, as it is true with most Android apps, uh, they're made for a little bit smaller displays than we're working with here. Not too many 27-inch Android devices out there at the moment. Lots of uh, these mobile apps uh, work with really simple controls, like this one. Obviously, you only need one finger to touch and use it. pretty good. Let's take a look at one more thing here. Now, with this interface, you'll be able to get things like uh, apps that, you know, a lot of things that normally wouldn't come with Windows. So this is a search interface. Normally, you'd get only a limited thing. Let's look for Iron Man, for example. If we look for Iron Man, you'll see quite a few results from several different stores. Now if I see Iron Man 3, the official game that just came out, we'll go over here to press install. Now it won't bring me to an install screen right away because it needs to look through different stores we have. 
Normally we get these three, but because we've sideloaded the Google Play Store, we also get that interface. So go in here, you'll be able to see the full Google Play Store and download whatever you want. Some apps will show up as not compatible and you won't be able to download them directly, but most apps do work straight out of the box. So pretty cool. Check it out. Check out the rest of our hands-on with this device and the full review coming up soon.